Hey everybody, welcome back to the Naked Rose channel. Um, today I wanted to talk to you about some products that I ordered online from JJ House. Um, you, you may not know about this, but I'm actually preparing for uh, my wedding. And I went online to JJ's house. This is the name here. Uh, they're not sponsored. I mean, I'm not sponsored by them at all. I just want to um, check out their products because I was looking for some cheap. Uh, well, they're not really that cheap. I wanted to get some well-priced junior bridesmaids dresses for my three daughters. And uh, I found them online. They're actually a Chinese company. I'm always really dubious about buying stuff from China, but you know, I don't have a lot of access to um, well-priced bridesmaids dresses and junior bridesmaid dresses here in the Gold Coast. So I went online to my search and their website looked pretty good. I was a bit nervous at first, to be honest, ordering stuff from them just because you just never know what you're gonna get from China, uh, in my personal opinion. So here goes, I got a package this morning. Um, it came, I, here's what I ordered. I ordered three junior bridesmaids dresses, full length ones. I ordered a pair of uh, bridal shoes for myself, some headband, uh, flower headbands for my daughters and some little sashes to wear on their dresses. Oh, and a bow tie for my doggy Diesel, who's gonna be at the wedding as well. And when I first got the package, I, I was like, oh my gosh, it's like, it's in a really tiny box. Like, how does, how do you fit all that stuff in it? But I checked in the car and it's all there. So this is what's coming. It's, the dresses come in this real, really cute package, you know? The color looks right. I ordered a, a pearl pink bridesmaid um, dress. For them looks okay but let's just take it out now and see what they actually look like so this is the the J10 which is for my middle daughter she's 10 and oh okay so it's an off shoulder piece full length I don't know if you can see it there. Can you see? It actually looks pretty good and I think she's going to fit into this. Might be a bit long, but that's okay because have a look at the front. So that's what it looks like on the front. I'll just take that out. It's not badly made at all if I, if I say so myself. That's the front. So it's got um, an empire waist, which is that what you call it? Like it comes in under the breast area and in the back. The lining on the inside, let's have a look. The material feels, yeah, it's quite, it's quite nice actually. I, I'm quite surprised. And there's lining in there. It's pretty good lining. It's a sheer lining. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. I'm just gonna check the zipper. Okay, this is interesting. What am I looking at here? Oh, is the dress inside out? What? <laughs> the dress is inside out. <laughs> Come on. Okay. <laughs> oh, so that's what it looks like. That's even better. <laughs> That's, that's heaps nicer. I mean, it, it was nice as it was just now, but this is even nicer. Look at that. Oh, okay. Wow, okay. I, I, I kind of like this. Oh my God, it's even look, it's long enough for me. I'm not very tall. I'm like five foot three. And this is for a 10 year old. So I'm definitely going to have to get this taken up. Let's check the zipper on this. Look, it looks like it's 
pretty well put together. I'm gonna, oh, okay. You know what? I'm checking the seams on the inside. That's actually really good. Yeah. Okay. You know what? From sighting, I would give it a pretty high mark. It, I got this dress for about $80, which is not cheap for a standard kid's dress. It isn't. But for bridesmaid dresses, you tend to be paying more than a hundred dollars and this is what it costs to get a brides a junior bridesmaid dress from JJ's house so I'm pretty happy with that the ultimate test would be of course to um, check how it fits on my daughter itself when when she she tries it on at a later point okay so that's the that's one of the dresses I'm happy with that it's it's well put together all right, I'm just gonna assume that the other two dresses are just the same. So I won't check those at the moment, but I will have a look at the bow tie that I got for my dog. So I'm just gonna take this out. It's come in a really neat packaging there. You know, the quality of the fabric looks good. I'm pretty happy with it. I'll take it out for you to see. So look at that. So it's looks like a regular bow tie you would buy from any decent department store and um, pretty happy with the color yeah let's put it on the dog and see <laughs> shall we try that <laughs> should we put it on you diesel hey diesel do you want to try your bow tie what does that look like on you oh oh he's a handsome boy oh my goodness Look at that! Let's put this on. You handsome boy! Here you are. Let's take your other collar off so we can have a good look. Diesel! Oh yeah! Diesel! Diesel! Hi! Hi! Diesel! Here! Yeah. <laughs> You're so cute! Anyway, it fits him. It fits him perfectly. I'm really happy with that. <laughs> okay, all right, baby. Here we go. Yeah, I'm really happy with that. It looks good on him. He's gonna look so smart at the wedding. Yes, you are. Okay, I'll take that off and then we can go back to the rest of the items that we got. Thank you, Diesel. All right, so that's that one. And then here I ordered some flower crowns, what I, what I thought was supposed to be flower crowns for uh, my daughters to have on their hair, but I, they don't look like crowns to me. I only paid $3 for these though. I'll take them out. They're paper. I mean, I, I, I knew that they were going to be paper um, flowers. They're on this bendy wire um, thing. I suppose, I'm not sure how it goes on, but I suppose we could just like pin it into their hair like, like this. I don't know. That might work, right? I'm not sure. So maybe a couple of hairpins on the side and pin it in. We'll see. It's not bad. Look, it's not bad for three bucks. There's a lot of stuff you can do with it. I mean, I reckon you could maybe even turn it into one of these. Um, like a, a corsage even, if I can get it around my wrist. Because, there you go, a flower corsage for the wrist. Let's, um, let's tighten that a little bit. Yeah, you see, that could work too. So, I'm not, I'm not disappointed. There's plenty of things we could do with that. All right, so I got three of these. And then I also got some little diamond sashes for the dresses. I got three of them. I think these were, I can't remember how much they cost, but I'll let you, I'll let you have a look, right? So the sashes, 
on this really thin ribbon. I just thought the, the actual ribbon would be wider, but you know, it's come on a bit of a narrower sash, but that might work as well because they're quite delicate for the dresses. So we'll see. I mean, there's diamante in the front. The diamante frontage doesn't look bad. It looks quite pretty. Can you see that? And then I think I mentioned in the car as well that they finished off the end of the sash with these diamante bits as well, which I wasn't expecting. You know, it's not, it's not bad. It's not the most extravagant looking piece, but for what it cost, I think it's pretty good. So I got three of those, one for each of the dresses. The consistency is definitely there. I can see that they're all relatively, actually they're all identical. So I'm happy with that. There is there's that factor going for them because it's really important as well when you get stuff in China that quality is checked. So okay, I'm happy with those. Lastly, I got my bridal shoes online. What? Bought my shoes online, you say? I know, it was crazy. I just wanted a pair of bridal shoes that complemented my dress. I mean, I've got a pretty detailed dress as it is, and I just wanted something that wouldn't detract from their beauty and complemented them rather. I don't know if these are gonna fit. I'm gonna try them on, but they're basically platform stilettos that I got. So that's, it must be like a nine inch heel. We'll see if I can actually walk in these. I don't know if I can walk in them. But I, one thing I loved about these shoes is that if it's got the, can you can you zoom in? You can have a look. There's full pearls on there, and there's some diamante dividers between the pearls, which I absolutely love. And um, that goes on onto the heel. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to try this on, and we'll see, we'll see how that looks. Okay, cameraman. All right, let's try this. Take the shoes off. And, um, oh, I hope, I really hope they fit. It's always a, it's always a real dice with um, luck when you buy anything online, let alone shoes, especially from a shoemaker that you've never used before. I have never bought anything from JJ's house. This is my first time. I ordered all these goods um, probably a month ago and I panicked after I put the purchase through because we were in the midst of COVID and the online reviews I found on their website were amazing. So that was the reason why I made that purchase because they were genuine feedbacks and pictures of people from all over the world reviewing the quality of the dresses, et cetera, et cetera. But uh, after I put the purchase through online, I w wasn't sure if COVID would affect their delivery time. So I went on um, to Google and just checked some external reviews about JJ's house and it came back with a whole flood of really negative results about them not meeting um, their delivery promises, etc, etc. I, I gotta say, I'm pretty impressed because when I emailed them pretty much that night, which was a couple of days after I put the order through, I got a, respond, a response back probably within 24 to 48 hours. And although they didn't have a number I could call, the fact that they responded was pretty good because I wasn't 
expecting that much from them in terms of communication. And I thought to myself, okay, well, we don't know um, how this is going to turn out. So I sent through another email and I said, look, I've, you know, had an email from you, but I still don't know when my goods are going to be uh, shipped out. And they got back to me a little bit on the slow side, but they did get back to me within two days. And lo and behold, um, a week after those first two initial communications I had with them, they sent me an email and said, your goods are going to be shipped on this specific date, which was going to be a week from then. And you'll expect it, um, I don't know what it was, going to be like two weeks from whence they emailed me. And it was pretty smooth sailing since then. The goods left pretty, uh, a couple of days after they said it was going to leave. I got the shipping notification and I could track it all the way back, all the way to Australia from wherever they were sending it in China. And here it is. So okay i'm just like well okay you know maybe you guys aren't doing as bad as i thought you might do and here's the thing as well like so when my products got delivered to the post office i actually got two emails from their customer service team checking if i had received the products because they knew that it had been delivered into the country sorry i'm just rambling but oh, we'll see how this oh my gosh it it's actually really comfortable so that's the sash on the back oh I'm impressed look at that <laughs> I can't believe it fits what I have done though I've got really wide feet I'm normally a size seven and a half but because I've got really wide feet I decided to order a size up so I ordered a size eight just to be safe oh they're really comfortable and i can walk in them oh they're beautiful yeah the instep's really good too because i've got relatively flat feet so these are going to be really nice and supportive i'm gonna have to be careful with the stilettos though because i haven't worn stilettos in a really long time but I'm really happy. Yes, yes, yes. Love it. Good job, JJ House. I'm loving it. All right. Well, that's that for me. I would probably give it um, for an online purchase from an unknown um, supplier, to me anyway, because I've never used JJ House ever before. Uh, I would give them a 10 out of 10 for their products maybe an eight seven or eight for communication and i understand it's probably for the fact that you know we're all in pandemic at the moment and they don't have as many staff working at the moment i have no idea i can only imagine but the fact that um they made effort to communicate with me uh as best as they could and they followed through with their promises i'm happy I'm really happy from them. I would uh, say that if I had to buy any more um, dresses or any more goods from them, I would, I would definitely do it again. But I would give it a lot of extra time. So don't be buying stuff from them if you've got to go and do a special uh, function like a week from when you buy it. You, you want to give at least a month when you order dresses like this. All right, guys. Um, thank you so much for listening to this review. I hope you got some value out of it. I'm going to enjoy um, showing these dresses to my little girls and wish me good luck in my wedding preparations. I'll uh, hopefully share some more information with you as to how the rest of it goes to plan or not to plan. Who knows with pandemic, but mm. okay, have a great day. See you. Bye.